Hello and welcome back to our building series. Now, before I carry on into this series in adding specific functions, particular blocks and like power blocks and uh, function blocks, things like that, I want to actually introduce uh, the rotation of a block. So before you place it, how do you rotate it around to get angled the way you want it to? So what we're going to do in the player characters blueprint here, I'm going to right click in empty space and search for mouse axis. And you'll see mouse wheel axis turn up. Choose that and we'll be checking whether or not we're actually in the build mode. So we've already got that in here. It's at the start of this tick we've got going on. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in like so. Next, we're going to take our true value and we're going to use our build piece variable, drag that out, choose get, and then right click on it and convert to validate get, plugging it into true. So we're just checking and making sure that the piece is still valid at all times. And if it is valid, we're going to be setting its rotation. So set rotation and set actor rotation is what you're looking for. Okay, so to recap, when we move the wheel up or down, it's going to get the player controller and see if we're in build mode. If we are in build mode and the build piece is valid, we're going to change its rotation. It's rotation though, we're going to make from the current rotation of our build piece. So drag build piece out, get, and you want to get actor rotation. We are then going to combine that with another rotator. So drag this out and combine rotators. And the result of that will go into our set actor rotation. But what are we combining it with? We are combining it with this axis value. So let's right click on B and choose split. I want to rotate it in the yaw here. So I'm going to drag axis value out and multiply that by a float. The result of which will go into the yaw. So we're only rotating it on its uh, z-axis, the yaw of it. So just spinning it around in, in, uh, as it is flat. And the value you want to type in here is how far each increment is going to be. So this could be a variable or it could be a hard number that you type in. I'm just going to make it a hard number we type in. So I'm going to put in 10 and hit enter. And that's all there is really to it. So hit compile and save. And let's go check this out. So I push play, get a block. And now with a mouse wheel, I can turn my block around and place it. And that's how you rotate a block. Thanks very much for watching. In the next episode, we will be going on to how to make blocks generate power so you can use that power to function other machines. So if you want to watch the next part, head over to patreon.com forward slash Lady right now and donate just $1 to get access to all my videos before anyone else. Big shout out and thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support as none of this would be possible without you guys. So thank you again so, so much. If you like this video and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. If you have any questions or have suggestions for future content, leave a comment below. I'd be fascinated to see what you guys have in mind. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.